time. All it is is an hour a day. That's it. And it's just interacting. Like Twitter. Twitter's so easy. To, and I hate Twitter. I ain't going to lie. It took I me... Fa- yeah. <laughs> I do. I, I ain't going to lie, Erica. I, it's, everybody was pushing me. Come on, Kels. You've got to work your Twitter. I'm like, I hate it. And I still... I still ain't as good on Twitter as I am with the other stuff. But I, I try a lot more than I used to. And, it, and it's climbed... It's elevated like hell in the last two years. But before that, let me tell you, I went on maybe once a week. <laughs> I hated it. I hated it. Now I'm I'm a lot better at it. I check it every day and every night. But it's it you know, and it's growing. Like I went to a meeting last week. Streaming's gonna be our biggest thing. That's your future, that's your money, y'all. Right there, streaming. And Spotify just signed the last deal with Spotify has all three major labels. I just had a big fight with somebody last week. They were like, Well, Title and Apple pays more. And I'm like, you're absolutely right. I said, but you know what? Spotify has more customers. A lot of people ain't even aware of Title yet. And I said, Title's expensive. And you can't even listen to the music unless you get a subscription from them. Spotify, you can listen to for free. Yeah, that's true. I said, and let me tell you this. The numbers, yeah, you're right. Spotify is in the middle, but you know what? Y'all screaming YouTube, and YouTube's on the, the bottom. YouTube don't pay shit. Right. <laughs> yeah. it's so That's terrible. I was shocked when I seen that. I was like, are you serious? You figure they're like the biggest platform as far as people downloading, you know what I mean? And you were on the bottom? Like, really? Mm-hmm. And I expect that next year, now that last week was the last label to sign, I think it was Warner, was the last one that signed with Spotify. They got all three major labels backing them up. You know they're going to be going forward, like, with massive change next year. You're right. So, yeah. I'm excited. In any business, clientele is the number one thing. Mm-hmm. Until you got people behind you, that's pretty much it. Mm-hmm. You know, I am a fan of title. <laughs> are you see i haven't really gotten familiar i mean i saw it and i did try it out last week but i ain't gonna lie spotify maybe because i i've been playing it in my car for a while now and i got that plan where i, I it ain't using my internet stuff when i'm in the car i can play it you know what i'm saying so i can go to any artist and just keep going you know what i'm saying and um I'm, I hate radio in the car i know that sounds crazy but i just i like to hear music i don't like all the commercials and all that stuff and um I, I guess the title, I just got confused how to, I don't know. It was just different for me. Now, see, that's what they're saying, too, that Spotify is the easiest to use. Um, I forgot what else. I was just going back and forth through all my notes, and I'm like, you know, title is the one that pays the most, and I can see that. And I think once it's more familiar and people are more using it, then it will take over. Yeah, I hope so. You know, I, I really do. Once I think I- people stop putting it out there, it might. But right now, Spotify has got it. Yeah, you got to make it convenient for the people. Just yeah. like just like us with the Mason ENTSC, like the website, the Facebook, the Twitter, like Instagram, anything. You have to be accessible for the people. You don't want to have a different website and a different, like, Instagram. It's hard to find. You got to make it easier for the people to actually get to you. Right. And that, I noticed that on the site, because like I said, I was wondering, like, did you want me to send out the tweets to all different, all three of you, you know what I mean? I'm like, how do I, how am I going to do this? But then when you said, no, just do it to Mason and Entertainment, I was like, oh, all right, I got that now, because it's true, it's all one thing, so that would work. Yeah. That works out good. So, you have another single to drop before the end of the year, another video, and then, like, you're, you're thinking about which single to drop. So, the EP probably won't come out till next year, right? The EP will probably drop this year along with the video, or probably along with the first video, the Where the Money official video drops. Oh, okay. We'll have to see, so it can kind of get people used to it. I see that people feel more comfortable with the songs when they already know the songs and they come to the shows. So it's kind of like the people who already got that first video and gravitate to, gravitate to it, we want to give them a little bit more material. Because we have a good bit, we have a library of music that we actually put together because... You know, in a household where you got a boyfriend and girlfriend that does music, we just go down to the studio and just record, like, every day. So, pretty much the most important part to us is the engineer getting the music back to us. And pretty much we'll have it set and we'll plan out, because having the music is the first step, but the marketing is the biggest step. Like, once we have everything, we'll, we'd like to put the money into actually getting the music out there to the people. Right, right. 
You know, somebody told me about something new you might want to check out, too. I'm going to check it out. I haven't had time to yet. But supposedly they're doing scans now. Like, you know how, um, I'm trying to think of what it's called. You know how everybody's got a scanner on their phones? Well, you could get, like, say a business card, right? And you put the name of the song on the front and, like, the cover. And in the back, it's like a, a, you know, a code. And when you scan that code, it's your song. Yeah, we yeah. found it at the fleet DJs. Yeah, we found it at the fleet DJs. Like, the business cards, going to do the flyers and the posters like that. And like you said, with the stores, if we, just like we put CDs on the counter, if you can get people in the neighborhood to put your, your poster in the wall, they can keep seeing you. Like, it's like they pretty much keep seeing you, and then when they actually see you out and about, it's like, wow, you're the person who was in this store and this store. And you can scan it and pretty much get the music to your phone. Yeah, so see, you did that. So you've seen it. You've seen the flyers with the thing on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, I haven't seen it yet. Someone told me about it. Oh, yeah, we ran into somebody when we went to the Fleet DJs conference in um, North Carolina. Who was that last month? Last month. Yeah. How's it? Does, is it expensive? That people keep with the USB drives on it now. Like, it's a lot of new things yeah. out there, like, to catch people's attention. Get real creative with it. Oh, wow. Yeah, being on that next step, like getting out there is another thing for new artists. Like, get out there and travel and see what new things that's out there and bring it back to where you are. Yeah. Because they'll put you on a whole nother level, especially down here in the country where we're from. Like, you come back with credit cards and USB drives. I'll be like, i never seen this. Yeah, like, like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> And then when you go out to these different cities and, and do these performances or you do meet and greets and stuff and link up with those artists in those towns and do songs with them and make sure that, you know, they have your information, you never know. You can get some of their fans as well when they listen to the music that you're on with them. So, you know, and I love collaborating with people. That's my thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah I think it would be fun, too, if I was an artist because it's different, you know what I mean? And you're meeting new people. I like people anyway, so... I think it's cool, like, with that. You know what I'm saying? In that sense, I could see that. Like, that, I think artists are crazy when they don't want to do stuff with other artists. Because I'm like, really? You're not helping by doing that, you know? Right. Exactly. Tell everybody all your um, social links, too. I know it's, like, Mason Entertainment on Twitter. But tell everybody all the rest of it. It's Mason, M-A-S-O-N-E-N-T-S-C. Now, that's the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, that's everything. Everything at MasonENTSC.com. That's the actual website. So, SoundClick, SoundCloud, like Reverb Nation, anything that's out there on the Internet right now, if you Google us, it's going to pull up at least four or five pages because we've been working. Mason ENTSC, and you can find us anywhere. Yep. And the uh, single, Where the Money, is also available on Spotify, Tidal, Apple Music, Google Play. You name it, you can download it. It's out there. It's out there. Yep. <laughs> Shout outs to anybody? Shout out to you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Brandon and Snook, that's not out here today. Um, other artists. Everything is South Carolina, man, but we're everywhere. So anybody want to reach out, collab, it doesn't matter where you are. We travel, we come see, passports coming soon. <laughs> like, let's work. Let's get out there and let's make a difference. So let's put a voice to who we are. When we go mu- make music, we don't just make music. We promote who we are. So that's what makes it a lot easier from state to state. Because we don't have to bring anything to the table but us. And that's it. That's wild, Yeah. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Well, I, I'm going to let you go since I kept you off for almost an hour. <laughs> I didn't even realize it was like 10 of already. Um, but I do want to keep up with y'all, so I definitely want to hear that new single. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Definitely. We're going to get it because you're going to be promoting it. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I definitely want to hear that. And I wish you all the luck. And um, I know I'll hear from you guys. So, But it was kind of cool. Now I got it all situated on who's who and what's going on. So now I got it all in my head. You know, I'm like, this is cool. I like it. <laughs> okay. 
definitely. We really appreciate you for taking the time out and, you know, doing this interview with us. It's, it's much love for real. Oh, and I, I'm, I'm glad, too, that I finally got to do it because, you know, I, I was thinking of all these interviews are booked so far ahead, you know, and I'm just like, wow, this has been crazy. Like, I'm already booked till the <laughs> middle, I think the end of October now, and I'm just like, it's just been going and going, and now when I get these other shows, I'm just going to be like, wow, you know, but I think it'll work out because I'll be on iHeartRadio now, too, and I'll be on some other, like, doors, so it'll open it up for all of you guys, too, you know what I mean? It'll, it'll just be, like, a lot better. It'll open up like everywhere, so it'll we'll have access to a lot new more channels, you know. That's the fun. Yeah, I'm kind of excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited at the same time, you know. It's just something new, so I think it'll work. It'll do good. But y'all have a great Labor Day. I used performing anywhere. Yes, we're, we're pushing. We're trying to get toward the AC3 in Atlanta in October. But um, we're going to start doing a lot more local shows. Get familiar, build up the craft. Before we travel out again and just kind of just kind of force the support like it's one of those things where if they keep seeing you and the music is good like as you've seen in the live show we're getting the feedback and just keep feeding them there and just keep showing them that we're actually making moves right right i gotta i gotta check that out too because i had um i guess one of the djs is having a big thing in atlanta in october too and i kind of forgot all about how could i forget about ac right like i couldn't believe i forgot about it so i want to check that out too i think i'm gonna to have to change plans and kind of try to head towards that because everybody's like kelly i can't believe you're not going i was like all right all right chill <laughs> I was like, let me check it out but i couldn't believe I, I don't know why i i don't know i just totally spaced it out but um yeah i'm gonna have to check that out well all right then you all have a great weekend and thanks for taking your time out and doing the interview Oh, yeah, same to you. Yeah. All right, guys. And um, like I said, have a good night. And um, I'll talk to y'all soon. All right. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. All right, y'all. That was Mason and T. And don't forget, check this song out, Way to Money. And you can hear it on Spotify, Tidal, um, 258 Radio and Rotation. Um, you can hear it at Apple, iTunes, all that, all that good stuff, okay? And keep on the watch for them because you know they're not going anywhere, all right? And um, we will be up with Kings and Queens of Porn in about 15 minutes.